This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, on YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get video, I put them out. So you don't think see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. And this gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the economy is terrible, okay? Global equity funds says they've seen the biggest outflows since March of 2020. We're talking pre-pandemic. And it's according to Refinitiv Lipper, okay? They said they've seen about $33.6 billion taken out uh, uh, of the global equity funds, okay? And that is totally outrageous. That is crazy. And, and here's the thing. It is great for <laughs> retail investors. It's great for pension funds who are holding the MEM stocks because what's going to happen is their collateral is slowly drying up and the bad actors are going to have to sell their long positions, which every day <laughs> are going down in value. You see what's going on with Tesla. So every day their collateral is drying up. That's less liquidity. And then you know what happens after that. AMC GME to the moon. Because of recession fears, because the they have raised the, 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 the interest rate. 400 basis points just in 2022 alone. The bad actors, the hedgies, the people that have been robbing retail investors for the last 24 months are in deep peril and we're about to see our attendees. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe on our YouTube album. So tell me what you think. Is the global equity funds losing $33.6 billion going to help AMC go to the moon? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.